Let me show you a cool trick with sliding uh, verts and edges, and this is really useful when you're working with um, cleaning booleans, converting ngon mesh to sub D. Has so many uses for it, it's crazy. So let's say that I had this uh, face here, right? And I'm going to slant it like this with machine tools, Deus X edge constraint tool. And I'm going to add another in a loop here in the middle. You can see that this loop is not running at the same angle, neither towards this edge or the bottom. It's in the middle. If I slide it with GG, you will see that I'm going to get this sort of, uh, you know, line here on the right hand side. When I cross this line, it's going to start aligning to the top edge and on the bottom it's going to align to the bottom edge. So if I wanted to create a perfectly perpendicular, you know, sort of um, situation here, I would need to go to Alt R, hold Shift, right, and um, Tab Z with Machine Tools Deus Ex. You could do that, but there is a Blender Vanilla way to do this. Um, it's not rotating the edge, but it's actually aligning it. So watch, GG, right? And if I press E, I'm going to align to the bottom edge. And if I press, and you can see this kind of like a square here. This is where, you know, the alignment is um, sort of uh, indicated, right? So in, it's aligning to this edge on the bottom, so flat. And if I press F to flip it, it's going to align to the top, you see? So I can slide it up and down without changing its angle. And this is going to be super useful to, for example, you know, creating um, supports for, uh, let's say, you know, areas like this, right? So let's say you wanted to run a sub D on this, right? And you wanted to create some kind of uh, loops to secure this G, G, E, you know, and you're done. And then you run another loop here and you're good to go, right? And you got this kind of like a bevel here. So if you wanted to align this to the bottom, you would need to nuke this face here. Okay, select all these, GG, right? And then E and F, and you can do the same thing here, right? E, F, and you're good to go. Now, it's not going to work with the face, so you need to remove the face, because if the face is here, it simply will not work, okay? So if I try to move the face like this, right? You see that? GG, right? E and you get this weird stuff going on. So something is getting screwed in here. So it doesn't work. But anyway, remove the face, right? And you can just grab these verts or edges and you can, you know, slide. Now, another thing you can do, you can extend it the other way around because you can see that GG, I can slide down and you know, up and down, but there's a limit here, right? But if you press C, you can slide it upwards. Now, the problem is that unfortunately, if you're going to align this, right, it's going to create this sort of a situation, right? And if you press F to flip it, you're going to go down, but unfortunately, you cannot go up. So I don't think this is possible. The only way to go up straight is going to be by pressing GZ and moving the whole thing, right? Now, what if you have, you know, something rotated? And, you know, then you could still go G, Z, Z on the local, right? So I could, you know, do this. But what if the rotation is applied? And now the only transformation is going up. I don't have any more local transformation because my rotation was applied and now it's reset. So this is the, um, you know, basic orientation of my default orientation of my object. So one of the ways of doing this now would be to obviously, you know, go in with the G, G and C, but like I told you before, it's going to slant. You see that you can't really move it in a straight line. So what we want, we want to move these verts, right, or this, or this loop on this axis. So what you can do is you can actually use one of these edges to determine a custom orientation for this, you know, object. So you can go here and if you go to plus, you will be able to set the custom orientation based off of the normals of this edge. Okay. So now if I'm going to grab all these, right, I can go G, Z or Y, there we go, Y, and I can move it on the normals of this edge, which is pretty cool. And this will allow you to slide the entire, you know, this loop without changing its shape. So there you go, a few powerful tips on how to work with edges and how to fix topology. 
and how to use um, you know these vanilla blender tools that are quite powerful when you know how to use them uh, but uh, you know this is just scratching the surface if you would like to learn more about tools in blender for hard surface you know all the menus all the tips and tricks and actually build um, a very solid workflow then i suggest you grab our course the hard surface accelerator which is fantastic is going to teach you the whole thing the whole interface all the menus everything that's important for hard surface modeling none of the fluff you're gonna have the whole modeling workflow you know the rendering workflow so from start to finish we even include a fantastic bonus on teaching of principles of design which are essential if, uh, if you want to become better at modeling so if you're interested grab the course it's hard surface accelerator and the link is in your video description and also in the pinned comment underneath the video go ahead read about it and grab it it's amazing thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one